Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and today is tip number 15 I believe and today's tip is about preparing yourself for events when you actually want to scan around I mean you can use your scanner maybe you're going somewhere going to the airport and you say hey I'm gonna let it scan through and that's fine I mean you will find some interesting frequencies by letting your device scan frequency ranges but if you want to maximize a pleasure say you're going at the airport and you're planning to do a listening session of the airband at the airport why not go online and actually try to find all the possible frequencies that the airport where you live actually uses because there's a lot of them there's not just the airport and the airplanes there's also the different airline companies there's all sorts of um, you know, it could be the, uh, the, the the baggages, it could be the crew on the ground. They have different frequencies that they use. And you know what? If you scan around, you'll hear some stuff. But if you plan ahead, program the memory channels with all the known frequencies from your local airport, well, you'll save a lot of time because, first of all, you'll have already a good knowledge of a lot of the frequencies and things you can hear. And you know, you can alternate from, you pass an hour just scanning the frequencies that are known for the airport, and then maybe for the next half hour, hour, just scan the air band and uh, see what else that you might pick up that you haven't seen any frequencies listed. Uh, maybe it's maritime listening. Well, you know what? Choose a bank and program your maritime frequencies in advance. Don't think that you'll get there and that I'm just going to scan and it's going to be fine. No, there's a lot more that you might actually find of interest uh, if you go and monitor. So I always pre-program my scanners with known frequencies for whatever listening I'm going to do. Um, I sometimes, you know, go to a park on the east end of uh, the island of Montreal because over there you can see the boats that will go into the um, maritime, the, the St. Lawrence uh, Seaway. There's also the Port of Montreal that has frequencies. Think large. Think that there's not just in the maritime stuff boats you might listen to. There might be crews on some boats. There might be a port where you live. I have we have the Port of Montreal here, which is a pretty a pretty big one. Well, maybe they have their own frequencies for all sorts of communications within the port. Um, you know, whatever you're gonna do, whatever you will try. Uh, maybe you're just taking a hike on top of a mountain, and you're like, wow. I'm going to check out what I can hear. Well, you know what? You take a hike on top of a mountain. Well, one of the first things I think when I do that is, oh, let me program a bunch of repeater frequencies, amateur radio repeaters by distance. And these are easy to find online and see all the amateur radio repeaters in the VHF 2 meter range or 70 centimeter range and um, program them. And program some that are far away that you never hear when you're at home, but on top of a mountain. Maybe suddenly you will hear it because you'll be line of sight, you'll be very high. It's very surprising what you can hear. But do plan in advance, especially with a scanner radio. There are times when it's cool, you just, you know, uh, I would say in all the times that I, I went somewhere to do some listening, I always pre program the frequencies of what is possible to hear at that place and keep some time for just general scanning. Let it, the scanner scan through a frequency range and see what else maybe I can hear by chance or whatever or, you know and not all the frequencies are in lists so you might actually miss out on all sorts of communications because you just use the pre-programmed ones so you alternate you know half an hour of pre-programmed half an hour of just scanning around and so on and uh, you might be surprised but planning ahead is a really really important phase in radio listening and especially on scanner radios, you know, there's tons of memories in here and it's for a purpose. You can program different uh, services in advance to make sure that when you actually want to listen to these, well, they're already there and all you got to do is enjoy yourself. And, um, you know, you won't have to um, wonder whatever frequency that could be or, or, or not because you have prepared in advance your list of frequencies in here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.